Hi, I'm Florida foreclosure defense attorney Michael Waslick. I'm here in St. Augustine, Florida at the St. John's County Courthouse, and I wanted to talk to you today about deficiency judgments, what they are and what to do about one if you think you're about to uh, uh, suffer from getting a motion for a deficiency judgment to have a court award one against you. Well, when a foreclosure case goes through and judgment is entered and the auction is held, the judgment will have a final number that totals up the complete amount of the debt that the, the bank asked for and the court awarded. And if the foreclosure auction where the house is sold doesn't raise enough money to cover the entire amount of the debt, if there's, if there's debt left over after the house is sold, then the bank in most cases will have the right to come back and ask for a deficiency judgment, which is a, a judgment awarding money to the bank for the difference between the sale of the house and the total amount of the judgment. Now, in most cases, these are filed in the foreclosure action as a post-judgment, post-sale motion, where they come back and simply set a hearing, they put on evidence of the value of the home or the sale price of the home, and, uh, and then from there it's simple math. Once the court finds what the value of the home is and subtracts it from the judgment, that's the amount of the deficiency. And then the bank can come after you for money. They can garnish wages, they can seize property, they can do all the things that any other money judgment creditor could do. Now, deficiency judgments can be fought. There are uh, defenses relating to, for example, what is the proper value of the home. Your appraiser might say something different than what the bank claims the value of the home is worth. Uh, there are defenses uh, you know, that come about. Uh, for example, there may be a failure to mitigate damages. Perhaps the bank is the reason that the, uh, uh, that the property sold for less than it should have or the, or the bank caused a, a diminution in value, which is why the property uh, was not worth what it was supposed to be worth. Um, anyway, there are a number of defenses that can be raised. And right now, right now, uh, we're starting to see uh, deficiency judgment claims spike because the legislature recently changed the time limit to file for deficiency judgments. So if you uh, have a foreclosure judgment that's already uh, been entered where you either had a, um, uh, where you had a, a judgment and your house was sold and you think that it sold for less than what the judgment amount, the total judgment amount was, you may be looking at a deficiency judgment in your future uh, if you're not careful. So if you receive papers that say the bank is looking for a deficiency judgment, uh, like, uh, or, or files a motion for a deficiency judgment, you need to talk to a lawyer right away. Please give us a call at 352-567-3173. That's 352-567-3173. I'm Florida foreclosure lawyer Michael Wasik. Thanks for watching.